Danny Acosta for Fight Magazine here with UFC heavyweight Brendan Schwab. Brendan, you got this big fight coming up against Gabriel Gonzaga, the biggest test of your career. How are you feeling going into it? Uh, I feel great. I'm, I'm up for the challenge. It's definitely a step up in, in uh, you know, caliber of fighter. Uh, Gabe's a household name, and I'm just looking forward to the opportunity. Do you understand the gravity of the step up in competition? You know, you're growing in there with the former title challenger, and you're coming off a win, you know, so you've had to go back and make improvements regardless of your last performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, for, for me, uh, a, a lot of the fights, especially on the Ultimate Fighter and uh, last couple of fights, I was just going in there. I, I was being a dog, man. I, I was just counting on my fighter's heart to go in there. I, I really wasn't sticking to a game plan. And, and now I'm more of a cerebral fighter. And it showed my, my last two fights. And, uh, you know, Chase Gormley and, and T Chris Tusher, who's, who's as tough as they come. Uh, so it, it's definitely paying off for me now. And I expect it to pay off Saturday night. Uh, on the ground, how do you feel you match up with the Gonzaga? He's got world class jujitsu, but you know you're known for your sprawling brawl. So you know, is that the game plan going in there? Uh, you know, I'm not going to give anything away. Uh, obviously, my style, I prefer to keep it on the feet. Uh, I'm pretty well rounded. Uh, you know, I'm no slouch on the ground. Uh, am, I, am I a world champion like Gonzaga? No, this isn't uh, jiu jitsu, though. So uh, I'm excited. If it does go down there, uh, I'm comfortable. I've been put in some pretty bad situations before. Uh, have you been uh, really watching tape and, and looking for his kicks? You know, he's got very dangerous kicks, and, and how do you intend to deal with that? Yeah, Gonzaga poses a lot of threats. You know, he's good at kicks. Obviously, uh, his ground game's good. He's a big dude. Uh, all the guys in the heavyweight division have right hands, so you got to look out for that. Uh, I've studied a ton of film on him, so uh, I, I know what he's good at, man, and I'm, I'm well prepared for it. Uh, your fight on the Ultimate Fighter finale was against Roy Nelson, a former IFL champion. Uh, you came on the wrong end of that fight, and you've really turned it up since. What about that fight has made you ready for a guy like Gabriel Gonzaga? You know, in, in that fight with Roy, you know, I, I trained with Roy. Roy is a friend of mine, so I, I was too comfortable. And uh, when you have four-ounce gloves on and uh, I consider myself a knockout artist, uh, you know, you, I take chances. And in, in that fight, uh, I was just too relaxed. Uh, I didn't have the nerves. and. Uh, I, I've learned from it, and, and, and like I mentioned before, I'm definitely more of a cerebral fighter, and uh, it's paying off. Having all the television exposure is fantastic. You're coming up to the pay-per-view now. Do you feel like this is your opportunity? This is the big chance for you to seize? Yeah, I, I think this is one of those fights where uh, once my UFC career is all said and done, this is the fight where you look at it and you're like, yep, that's, that's, the, that's the fight that made him. So uh, yeah, your career can go two ways uh, in this fight, and, and I plan on going to the next level. Is your mindset going into this fight that, sure, that's Gabriel Gonzaga, but I'm the hybrid? You know what, man? Every, every fight, you know, with Chris Tusher, he's as tough as they come. Uh, Chase Gormley, Roy, uh, and Gabriel Gonzaga. Man, these are all tough guys, uh, but they're not me. Brendan Schwab.